What do you, what's going on, Johnny? Hey, how's it going? It's going good. Um, thanks for coming on. We just kind of wanted to, to do a little bit of a spotlight on the series. And since you were the champion, obviously, uh, coming in to this second season, trying to defend yourself, um, how how the league was kind of created and, and how long you've been a part of it, seeing as um, it's, it's not really a new league, even though it's been rebranded. Yeah, I mean, uh, I first – I was a part of the, the original league, but I wasn't very active in it um, before they, they split off and a couple other, a couple drivers started their own thing. Um, and from day one, because one of my buddies, uh, DJ Weeks, is, oh, yeah. is one of the yeah, admins there, he, uh, he, invite, he got me involved pretty much from the beginning. Uh, he be wanted me to, to race anyway, and everything. Man. And I really – you know, it's, it's, it's a great little – get up it's quite a you know a bunch of cool right, guys class, you know that, that race Harrison. every week and and have a fun time and you know after these races and stuff we have a we have quite a fun time running through everything that happened in the race and everything so uh yeah i've, I've pretty much been a part of it since the beginning and you know it's been it's been a blast <laughs> yeah and uh you pretty much dominated season one but you said something about us uh kind of talking after the race and stuff we had a practice race last night it was 20 laps and i think you me and like eight other guys just stayed on discord for probably 30 minutes or longer after the race um to just just kind of hang out i mean you were talking about your other arca series and truck series that you run in as well as um as well as the race that we had and looking forward to the season so it's a really fun group of guys to get on with uh, but we also are streaming um, with our friend James East uh, and Team Goon Squad every Friday okay, at 8.30 uh, Eastern. Left. Check a flag and, out. Um, I don't know, uh, have you known James for a while? And uh, also, how do you feel going out there and That's dominating the in front of P4. live followers on uh, YouTube? Yeah. Well, I didn't know, I didn't know James uh, before uh, this past season. Uh, I got to know him quite well through the interviews. I mean, you know, <laughs> talking to him every other week, it felt like, uh, you know, you, you start to, you know, you start to see exactly what kind of what kind of work he puts into the broadcast and stuff like that. He does a fantastic job. I mean, he he does it all himself, and the the quality of the broadcast is just, it's it's really unmatched. So I, you know, I, I he, I learned a lot. Uh, I learned a lot about the broadcasting side, watching what he did throughout all these races and stuff, and then talking to him afterwards. And then there was a couple times, I think, after a couple events where broadcast ended and we spoke a little bit. And uh, he, you know, he he, talk, he talked about how exciting a lot of these races were and uh, how a lot of the fans and a lot of people that were watching were super excited about things that were going on. And, you know, some people were rooting for me, some people were rooting for someone else, and, and how exciting, you know, we seem to be putting on a show and how, how the fans were reacting to it. So it was pretty, it was pretty awesome. I know that at the beginning of the season, there was an incredible turnout for Daytona and a lot of people were tuned in and, and watched what was going on. And it's kind of crazy that we're in a position, you know, it's a pretty new league and, you know, a bunch of guys who, you know, started, just started racing together for the first time, having all these people tuning in to, to watch what we're doing is, uh, it's kind of crazy. But it's 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 a blast. I mean, it, it adds a different level to the uh, to the iRacing racing events. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah, and un unless we embarrass ourselves, usually we put on pretty good racing. Uh, I think James puts it best. It we're known clear. for right, a lot right, of green flag racing, and that's something that I'm not used to, and probably a lot of people aren't, especially when they're just running regular, you know, hosted iRacing racing events, because it seems to be caution picks. Um, so, I mean, that. That alone in itself, if, if you want something to watch that's not, you know, was just on a I guess, your normal, real NASCAR stuff, we use the ARCA cars, as they call them. I think they were modeled off uh, some of the later nationwide cars before they went to their COT platform um, with a little bit reduced horsepower. But we have long green flag runs, and, you know, I'm more of a mid-pack driver. You're the guy out front. How, how is this green flag that racing that strategy that, uh, that you're running out front? Um, do you do based on I guess your other leads and stuff like that when you're racing hours? Yeah, I mean the biggest thing with uh, official racing is that the races generally are fairly short unless you're doing like an NIS race or one of the those main events. Um, 
one of those big events. The, the races are pretty short, so you don't really get to experience what a you know fuel, you know, going to the end of a site, uh, a pitch strategy, you know, going, you know, having all these people doing different things pitch strategy wise, going to you know the end of the tank or having to you know pit for tires and stuff. But uh, you know, in 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 all American, it's you know <laughs> there's there's always a strategy. You you always got to be thinking about the next step because these races go on. You know, they some of the races last season went up to two hours, almost to the two hour cap, and you know, yeah. it, it, there's a lot of racing that goes on throughout a race. And you know, if there's something, something might not be going on at the front of the race. At the front of the race, it might not be anything going on mid to the back of the race. But there's always a battle somewhere, and it might not be obvious. And it's the same thing in NASCAR. You see, a lot of races seem boring. But then when you look at it from a strategy point of view or from, you know, okay, this guy's on new tires and he's coming, he's, he's going to start gaining in five laps on the guy in front of, you know, someone who came out, uh, came out of the pits later or something like that, um, or earlier rather, you know, you see the, uh, the back and forth in, in, in races and someone who runs up front at the beginning of the race isn't always the guy who's, you know, running up front at the end of races. So, you know, it's it's very dynamic and and you know it, it's there's always something going on. So it's never, you know, a lot of people said that you know it looks easy and, and stuff like that, but it's not because you know you can you can be the fastest car, but you need to have everything come together. You can't make mistakes. Pit road has to be perfect. You have to get the strategy right, and you have to be there when it matters, when it counts. And you know you you might not be the guy up front every every week, but if you're in and you might not be the fastest, but if you're in that position when it counts. You, you have a chance. Yeah, and it's really easy to blow it. I can I can say that I was a uh, a really good shot to finish top three at Pocono, and then our second green flag stop, I just I came out of the pits on cold tires and just looped it right there uh, out of turn one and just ruined my day. So that that's about that's about how I guess real real this series is. It's. It's very cutthroat, but it's also extremely That's the fun. End of the session. It's, it's, it's rare to find a group of guys uh, in online racing, uh, from from at least my perspective, to, to that put so much into something that's not really, um, I guess, revered. You know, not like the Eco Cola iRacing series or anything like that. Uh, everybody out there tries their best to put on a good show for the people watching. And I well, think sorry, that's yeah, why I a lot of people have respected uh, that. To, uh, I, I know that I when, when I watched, because um, I went to the race, they were getting 80 awesome. to, to 150 um, viewers. No broadcast for so, the series. Um, fuck that shit. Uh, I did want to thank, thank you for coming on tonight, tonight but I also wanted to say a little bit about a season preview. So I know last night we were talking, you said that you might not be the guy to go out there and win nine times this season. So are you going to be that dominant driver, or who are who are we looking at um, to be scared of that's not the number 90 car next season? Well... Let me start off by saying, you know, I had nine wins, I mean, but I was definitely that. not the guy that was fastest in most of these races. There were one or two races I where I felt like that I should have absolutely won. I mean, but things on, you know, pitch strategy, critical long, moments though. mid-race that for me just kind of like, oh, you know what? I have a chance. And let me just Wait, execute again, from here to, to the end. Up, uh, I might not I made, may have awesome. made a lot of mistakes earlier. I may have been out of position. I mean, Rockingham cool goes in my mind, comes up. I was, uh, I think I was like I seven majority of the race. Oh, uh, and then one pit stop mid race, I beat my teammate off pit road. After the initial and the from that moment on, green, it was just like straightforward. And I just, you know, kind of built a little bit of confidence in me. And right at the end, again, I was in position and I was able to bring it home. But, you know, that was last season. There was a lot of people. Uh, so they were to iRacing, a lot of people who like, were, uh, with the green you know, and everything. just kind of try, trying to feel out their careful. way, their place in the league, and yeah. try to get used to running in a, in a different Fahrenheit. environment. And a lot of people uh, gained a lot of experience in the offseason, the, uh, but there's also a whole bunch of drivers ends, that are new to, we get another to the league. But, you know, for me, of the people that were... You know, around last uh, in so season like one, I found that uh, you know I find that James Silver like uh, and the Cornerstone the guys are going to be pretty quick. At, you know, every week uh, it'll get uh, they they, like they had speed last season, race, but a lot of like, races it, just it, seem you know, to just fall away towards the end. He got a James got a late win last season in USA with two weeks to go. Which uh, I think was a huge Otherwise, boost to him, and then he came out and won the race, the Clash last week, and then well. I, mean, I got something to say about that. He <laughs> he did 
he did just trash the leader straight all over my hood, and I had a run on the outside <laughs> lane. I would have won that race had he not done that. Yeah, I I don't know how I got through that wreck, but it was yeah, it was insane. It was definitely a clash worthy. It was definitely a clash worthy wreck. <laughs> Yeah, I mean the whole the whole field was gone by the time. I mean, I don't think anybody came through without damage. Um, but yeah, but there's also a couple new new guys that I find, you know, uh, Tate Mountain Man Motorsports and then uh, 2511's Elliot Henderson. Those two guys are going to be pretty quick every week, and you know we're hoping to <laughs> open our our outlaw racing out as ready. quick as they were last season. Uh, but you know, you, you, you don't really know where you stack up until the racing gets going. You know, every every situation, every league is different, and you know you can race with the same people three days a week, but when you get to that fourth day, everything changes. So, uh, yeah, I, it's it's really wide open, but I, I feel that I'm I'm a bit of an I'm I'm at least going to take the underdog role a little bit, given the experience that some of the newer guys have. Uh, you know, in other leagues or in iRacing, racing official. So, I you know Elliot Elliot ran. Uh, Ran uh, Road to Pro, the Truck Series, so uh, he, he he's got a lot of uh, he's got a lot of experience, and uh, you know I'm, I'm sure he's going to be eager to use it and, and you know try to bring home a couple of dubs for his team. Yeah, and speaking about teams, uh, currently we have 14 different teams signed up. We have a four car maximum, just like the Cup Series does. And if you are interested in hard nose racing. Um, you're going to find it in our American Auto Series. Uh, like I said earlier, we broadcast through Team Goon Squad and James he's over there at Team Goon Squad every Friday night from tomorrow on for the next, I believe it's 14 races this season at 8.30 Eastern. And it should be a lot of fun. Um, we're we're going to have a lot of guys. We've got 62 drivers registered. That means if they show up each week, we're going to be sending home guys and they'll be the 43 fastest qualifying um now i know you guys had a lot of those same issues last year where you had like 38 to 40 people show up at some races but that was usually the inside max, even though you had more than 40 Clear registered are you looking for full fields this year or are you thinking we'll see Car somewhere low. between that 35 to 38 range like we did last year well, i think last there. season you know Considering the league is quote-unquote new, I mean, I think the first race was started about a month, less than a month still there. Uh, after Imagine it was found, nice place, this is guys started to get serious about actually doing this. Fastest so considering that they had races where, inside. you know, drivers were, you know, that you, you almost pushed that limit where people were going to be going home, it's crazy. You know, it's, it's really incredible. And I think the, the excitement around the league and the way that the, the, the culture and the atmosphere in the league is, I mean, that it is a blast. 20. These guys are just so much fun to be around. There's always someone, you know, everybody does something different. Everybody comes from a different background, it seems like. So there's a lot of guys that, you know, yesterday someone was uh, was doing a uh, X-Plane or something like that. And, you know, we were watching his stream for a bit. And then someone else was, was playing Space Engineers or whatever. And, you know, we, we were just having a good time watching, talking and everything. And, and I think a lot of the excitement around the league from that perspective is, is – you know, kind of permeated out into the Irish Outside. community a bit, and a lot of people wanted to get in in on it. So I think that there's going to be Still quite a there. few races that uh, okay, Johnny, the, next the fields car is fields going to be pushing full, if not, you know, sending quite a few cars Still home. There. I think Daytona is going to be tomorrow is going to be crazy, but Still you never really there. know until you get into the race server. Line. Yeah, and we are starting our season off at Daytona tomorrow Old night. Uh, we'll start Clear our practice inside. session at 7.30, and we'll start racing at 8.30. Um, Your last lap time I think, was I think James has the stream on a little bit before 8.30 so that you guys can watch qualifying as well. And he does a fantastic job, like Johnny said earlier. Uh, we'll be going to classic tracks like uh, Talladega and... Uh, Homestead as well this season, uh, but we'll also be hitting up Nashville Super Speedway in a bunch of short tracks, and our road course is Sonoma this year. So it's a very, very um, variable uh, schedule this season, and I'm looking forward to running the whole 14 races, seeing about getting Fan Fuel Motorsports up there, uh, because we've got our new race uh, uh, lineup this year as well. We've got a driver called uh, Terry Freer. And he is apparently a god at Super Speedway races, so we'll find out tomorrow night at 8:30. Uh, before uh, we uh, have you hop off here, Johnny, uh, Nathan Colton, did you have anything to ask about the league? 
I think Colton should be careful. Yeah, I did, but I mean, just from the the sounds of it, we'd have to kind of further that more. But uh, I'm wondering how much would be the tile spots of the leaves. That's something I'm interested in. Shit. I, I won't go in there and race, but I'll sure shit put, my, put a hat in the ring. Yeah, yeah, I, that's definitely a question okay, for Casey. This, uh, uh, he's the, uh, the lead over there. The uh, he does a lot of the day-to-day -day stuff ID. when it comes to uh, getting you know, registrations Maybe through and, and all that. So uh, yeah, he's more he's more the one to talk about uh, to talk about that side of it. But, you know, I, I, I feel like they would be pretty open to it. You know, it's it's a great time. It, a driver sponsor, whatever. Um, Again, keep you know, there's always some, some fun stuff going on, and they're you know, and it's a pretty new league too. So they're trying to develop their own style and and trying to figure out the best Any way for do, uh, themselves and, and just the, you know, the, the people who support them. So, you know, it, I think uh, I think you could be a pretty good pretty good asset uh, asset to it. <laughs> it should be. Yeah, yeah and uh, the Colton okay. Graham or All American Arca League. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> One thing. It would fit you, the All American, definitely. Uh, yeah, I'm yeah gonna, thanks, Johnny, for coming on. I did want to get you you on here and Casey. He uh, he unfortunately couldn't make it, um, so that we could kind of get the word out about All American Arca. I love racing in the series. And then you'll go green. Uh, Fan Fuel Motorsports you know, is 100% is. behind you guys. You know, we we are running a team there with three drivers. Honestly, Looking for I a like fourth, if anyone out there watching uh, has I racing and is no, is no, good no, in the Arca series because we want serious drivers, not goofs. Um, yeah, but is there uh, any man, um, one, anything that you needed to plug before we uh, let you go, John? Yeah, but I want to say first of all, I want to thank my thank you guys for having me. Uh, you know, I love awesome. I love the league, right and you know, any anything I can do to, to help out the league and you know, give some shine a spotlight on on what they're doing. Uh, you know, I'm so absolutely PT, game for it, and uh, I'm honored that I you know that Casey was uh, right, off right, Johnny, get ready to do it. But uh, yeah, I want to thank my teammates, uh, specifically my season one teammates, uh, DJ Weeks, uh, David Westergreen, and Robert Hill Jr. for all the you know all they did last season and helped us to get a team championship in the league. And you know it, it's it's you know the, the league is very competitive, but it's very very hard to do it alone. Uh, so you know to do anything to be successful, you really can't do it alone. So without them, couldn't you know we, we wouldn't be anything. Uh, but I, you know, also the the admins, DJ who's an admin, um, Kyle Hall, uh, Casey, Carrington for all that they, you know, all that they do. Um, but yeah, I, I just, I'm looking forward to season two. I'm looking forward to getting it going and hoping uh, hoping the racing is just as good in season two as it was in season one, if not better. Yeah, so, yeah I hope I hope so. We're gonna have a, a, a new group of guys coming in, like you said. Um, apparently some uh, Road to Pro guys, which well. scares me a little bit about getting my first pick in the league. Yeah, uh, it should be good. I do want to second a shout out to Kyle Hall. He's the guy that got me Riley into the series. Uh, he was the truck, my dad's in real world, so that's how I got connected. That's how you got, um, you know, Sorry, you got on here. And I, and I appreciate the league myself. Well, I appreciate, uh, I to check up you know, there, you guys. I mean, you might not be an admin, but you might as well be. Come on, uh, pretty much man. the voice for our league so far right after already. just one season. So thanks for coming on, and I guess we'll see you tomorrow night at 8:30 yeah, on Team Dude Squad. Absolutely. Again, thanks for having me, <laughs> and uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of the show. Yeah. Thanks. Have you ever done better against Nuts Nuts or something? Did we took us out? All right. Well, high coming in this one. That is. All American Arca Series driver and season one champion and Johnny Eckert, driver of the number 90 uh, in that series for Outlaw Motorsports. Uh, I want to really thank him again for coming on. Uh, go watch us on Team Goon Squad tomorrow night. We've got three drivers myself in the number 85 Fancy Motorsports car. Green, green, green. We've got Let's go. Number 26 of Shane Gentry and a Pepsi throwback scheme for our new driver in the 46. Uh, running a throwback to uh, Jeff Gordon in a chrome livery of one of his Pepsi 400 um, race cars, uh, Terry Freighter. So come join us on Team Goon Squad. We'll drop the link tomorrow night at 8.30 p.m. Eastern, and we'll have a good time. Moving on with the rest of the show, uh, we'll welcome back my dad, uh, Chad Harrington, and his pretty much lifelong best friend, Danny Cummings. Welcome, guys. Hey. What's happening? <laughs> oh, 71 just wrecked everybody. 
on the floor. Oh, watch, 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 watch. How's there no yellow? Full course caution. I don't know how that was in the car. Did you get caught in that or? Sorry, I got loose out uh, there. Seems like you did. Hello? Okay, bye. Take it people Hello? on pit road, you probably should short, short, yeah. shorten the <laughs> caution flag. Funny. Good interview. I listened hey. to most of it. Hey, it's Clifford Geyer. What was his name? Line up single file behind car number that guy. Eight. Until he asked a question, then it's the caution open. came out, so it I closed also, it out. Like, it was not letting me put the command in any earlier was, than it uh, did. It was weird. Davis got fucked, by the way, when uh, Vic did the one to green. Oh, he was on pit road? He was on pit road, yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. And then that's what got him caught in the rag. I mean... I'm just saying, you walked Davis on pit road last time. I don't want to that to happen again. We're under caution. Pits are closed. Carpenter Nothing. was, uh... Like... All over the place. Yeah, I know. You know, it's crazy. I was doing the, uh, the interview while driving up, <laughs> driving up through the field. I know, you made some passes and... Yeah, I was just kind of on a Sunday stroll here. Uh, I just, I was being a little bit aggressive on the restarts because I had to get to the bottom. Yeah, no, like that's if why. If you I... get stuck on the outside, you're you're kind of screwed right on the start. You can make it work once you get going, but right on the start, you're just going to get fucking steam trained. Right, man, okay, Johnny, get Freight ready. Train. Race the resume at the end of this lap. Yeah. Be careful because uh, uh, Vincent is... Uh, is that Vincent it. in the Cheerios car? Yeah, he's been throwing it I in. I fucking, I knocked, I knocked Dallas out of the way by accident. Yeah, I mean, he he, he also got caught up with the whole uh, yeah. Vincent sending it. Well, the checkup, I hit Dallas and he went sideways. Yeah, and I, I saw that. That's all a result of the checkup going in. Green flag, we're racing. Outside. Full course caution. Watch out. All right, good work. Do you have a pass on again? Not that they are racing? Oh, my lord. I never understand what he says. Is he complaining about the This car is out. Line up single know. file behind car number nine. What do you say, Cannon? I'm sorry. Full course hear you. yellow. Pits are open. I'm starting to think as uh, something against us ever at a rating. I still have absolutely no idea what you just said. That was a mistake, actually. It was a racing deal. I don't know, DJ just left, though. No, a lot of you guys don't want to hear that. Is he pissed at me, or kinda, what? It's Martin's way, guys. I don't it's know. gonna happen. He doesn't want to be here right now. This is all Top me on, I got a really stuff. random question. It's annoying. But... What's up? Are you Italian? Fuck the yeah. Yes. You know... Okay. Kinda, kind of, for someone who's been a royal pain in the well. ass, he's really got... If you want to say it the really right way, it's nerve. Capuano. Okay, I got you. I'll remember that. Capuano. I will not remember that. Is gonna be... Are we gonna be time, sir? But I live on Long Island, so even Maybe. I say Capuano, even that's not the way you're supposed Fuck. to say it. I'm getting bombarded with... Fucking Discord oh, notices. Oh yeah, Long Island closed. boy. I heard Kyle Hall PMing me. Are we two degree? I got fucking Great Lakes notifications. Yeah. Give me Great Lakes notifications. Okay. Elliot invited me to run in that league. Seems like I'm gonna show my conscience. Shit just happened. Probably not. It's kind of a weird system, and they start at like six o'clock. I mean, about no six o'clock starts. I was trying to be nice and make these cautions less lengthy, but that apparently isn't going to be the case. Wow, Adam. We could have shortened this one by maybe one lap, but it don't matter at this point. Yeah. Is DJ going to race trucks at least? Yeah. Is he going to get on Discord at least? I don't know what the plan is. I don't know. I guess so. Back on the page, Full course yellow, pits are open. What the fuck? Rock. Set it back to one degree. 
Yeah, we're, I think I think we're currently three to grill, uh, three to green right now. We're gonna one to green. Come on, Vic. Shorten it. He's got no clue what's going on, does he? Alright, man. We're do do okay, Johnny, do get ready. Start. Race the regime at the end do of this lap. Alright. It wouldn't let me do that. Stop spamming the button. No. I didn't mean to tinker with it. And just, yeah, that's all. The thing that you did, I mean, that's the obviously admins, like, something I that they would do. I was tinkering around button, with the button, settings. Button, 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 fuck up. Button, 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 good thing. Button, 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 fuck up. Like, Jesus Christ. Alright, let's go. Good luck there, boy. Get that, motherfucker. Yeah, you do. I got Vincent to get, so yeah. That's fitting. Green, 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 let's go. We're outside. V2. Car outside. We're outside. Oh, Kynan's here. Vincent's about to wreck Dallas. I'm a real. I, this this series really frustrates Halfway me. Halfway home. We've got plenty of fuel. Everybody thinks that they they can win. No one drives to their to their ability. And we have stupid cautions and fuck. behind has just done a 20.3. reckon in the back, that caution. P2. Apparently not, but watch off the four here. No, there's no one there. Pretty good. You've just done a Just chop Marvella. Just done a twenty point four. Really catch a kind of.
seven seconds. That lap was a 20.5. Just done at 20.5. Gaining like second a lap. On okay, Johnny, point. we're matching race pace. That well, lap was at 20.4. Five seconds back now. Lap time was at 20.5. Kind of just brought the caution now. Be careful, we've got a full course caution. <laughs> Who did? Kind of. We think Jones has gone off. The pace drive. car is out. Seriously. Line up single file behind car nine. The pace car is out. Pits are closed. Pits are open. Did I have a choke this track for the season? I hate you. Keep me updated on pace car, please. Sorry, finish line. Think I can get four or no? Yeah. I'm gonna try. If anybody seriously thinks this race is gonna go, like you're gonna be able to, I, I can't imagine you're gonna be able to take advantage of tires. I don't know. I'm just giving it a try anyways. Yeah. I lost like three spots to do it, so. I mean, I'll probably be cautioned, so. We have eight minutes. Get road is closed. We're under caution. It's I got closed. Vincent and Dallas to follow through, so I think we'll get through. All right, Vincent, you're my god. Yeah, you're my god, too. I died. You're, you're my go guy, too. Race car's in this lap. Go double, my boy. Just to make up for my uh, mistake last time. All right, here we go. Good luck, bud. Good luck. Green flag. Full course caution, watch out. It looks like Carpenter has crashed. We're under caution, pits are closed, his car is out. Line up single file behind car number nine. Full course yellow, pits are open. We should play green. Get road is closed. We're under caution. 
It's closed. Shorten it again. We use the delay. We're on the top, kind of. Everyone give up the top here. That caution was my fault. I'll be right here. Uh, yeah. Carpenter didn't go and I hit him and he went around. I just want to pass D West here and I think we could strand him on the high side and get by him. Alright, man, we're going. Alright, Johnny, get ready. Race the regime at the end of this lap. Alright, good luck. Yeah, good luck. Thanks. We're racing. Carlo. Hold your line. Keep it steady. Still oh, there. D West just got, got a dumped. Full caution. Watch out. And Dallas just dumped him. Come on, guys. He says, come on, guys, Race he did it. Out. Pits are closed. Race Thank cars God. out. Line up single file behind car number nine. Pits are open. I know where to go. Hit the brake pedal. Can't go first tires. Mm. And he's slow, I get hit. You can still hit the brake. And I did. Yeah, I think I bumped him after he turned you. I ended up hitting him when he tried to slow down to keep from hitting you again. We're under caution. Pits are closed. Canon's coming high. And four. Watch your speed limit in the pits. The pit lane speed limit is 56 kilometers per hour. Yeah, he's waving flags up there. I hope someone else got that reference. You, of all people, should have got that reference. And please tell me you did. Thinking. All right, man, we're going green. We're going green. Next time, bye. I said, I called him Kanon, and I said he's waving flags. Oh. <laughs> World Cup. <laughs> yeah, that's I, ju I just connected it. Yep, South African World Cup, I think it was, where they Coca Cola yep. song. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 it literally clicked just as you said it, just before you, just before you said it. I'm like, oh yeah, right. All right, here we go. I forgot about that song. Green flag. We're racing. We're into the bottom. Car inside. Clear low. Outside. Clear to the top. Clear outside. Two laps left. Come on. You're looking good for a podium. Okay, Johnny, one more to go. Keep it together, we'll be on the podium. Fastest lap for Isabella, 20.1. You match your race pace. Inside. Good drive, Still good drive. There. Clear inside. Good race. Great drive, that's a podium. Oh man, I had shades of gateway there. It's <laughs> place two in the top five. Uh... Yeah, I wish it would have went green. 
Watch your speed. Box in 450 meters. Bro, is this whole fucking league? But buddy's the leader. What's what's going on here? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not taking a cooldown with them. Fuck that. Alright, man. That's it. The race is over. Yeah, I tried to get him. I just wish I could have held you off for those freshies. Then. Good team points. Not for we me. got team points, Narka? Yeah, yeah but... Oh, yeah. Just, Good team points for me. Last every five laps there at the end. Yeah, it doesn't matter. They're just, they're, just, they're just... I don't know. It's fucking stupid. Yeah. You yeah, right. Anyway. Be back. Be back. Oh, hey, it's 7.59. I got you. Be back in a little while with the uh, truck race. Dega.